Oh, the good music, too. <laughs> Alrighty, without further ado, in the top left-hand corner of the map, playing as the blue Terran pieces, give it up, it is DR, or excuse me, Bion. Oh, man. Botch that. <laughs> and in the bottom right, in the red, it is DRG, the Zerg. Alright, so, as we get into game number one, uh, I'm interested to see how both of these play. I haven't seen DRG play in a very long time. Um, I know he was doing really well for a while, and it, it felt like he kind of slipped off for a while, but uh, it looks like he is back in IEM. And right now in the lower bracket, but can definitely pull his way out of it if he tries. But it is a tall order. He is going to be playing against Beyond. Now, it looks like... He is going to be going for a pretty quick third hatch here, or at least once the scout makes sure that there are no proxies beyond. Definitely known for his proxy reapers and uh, just the strength of his play in general is very scary. So DRG very right to, to kind of scout out and make sure that he sees everything that he needs to. Um, so you know, go ahead and get into it with that now he's gonna come back with the drone and uh, presumably I guess continue just mining with it um, though uh, here in about a minute or so he should be taking a third if he wants to go that path now <clears throat> beyond uh, after making uh, that barracks it's gonna be going into a CC nothing too crazy and it will send across that single SEV just wants to get a scout on the uh, you know, the timing there of the hatchery. Is it a hatch first? Is it a pool first? You know, what am I facing against here? And it does look like it is going to be that hatch first. So, the spawning pool now done. Going into some lings and some queens. And behind this, feeling pretty confident. He can get that factory down. We'll be able to eventually start making some hellions. And uh, behind that, if he wants to, go for a third base. We'll see, does he want to get greedy with that, or does he just kind of sit back? I mean, so far, no uh, no hatchery down, but he does have the uh, does have the drone there ready to go, and there it goes as I, as I look at it. So, good micro from both sides. A couple of the lings are getting pretty low. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to kill any of them. And with the queen coming out, we'll shut this down for the time being. Now, Beyond can come in here and maybe harass a little bit still. Get a little bit more scouting if he's not 100% sure what is going on. But with the timing of everything, should feel pretty confident at least that there's not a, a crazy rush on the way or anything like that. So, we will see. Now, on the side of Beyond, we do finally have those Hellions being made. Starport is down and... Could possibly go into some Banshees behind this. Would be really nice. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what he wants to go with here. Again, that uh, Reaper just kind of keeping tabs on stuff, right? Wants to make sure, one, he can scout, but also uh, make sure he keeps track of where the links are so he doesn't just get blindsided here. So, sees the third base, and we'll get out of there now. Hellions are going to be following up, and DRG, of course, is going to see all of this, and will know exactly kind of what is on its way to the front of his base. And at the moment, Bion can't really, can't really attack into this. He can just kind of poke, maybe get a creep tumor if he's lucky, um, and then you know pull back. So he's doing really, really good here. There's only a handful of links, as it is mainly drones coming out from DRG. Looks like he's going to try to poke in, but nope, the queen's going to intercept, and it is going to be a banshee. It's getting ready to pop out with that cloak. Link speed is about done, and that will eventually kind of, not necessarily shut down Bion, but it will allow him to uh, be a little bit more defensive against Bion. Sending a Ling will actually scout the banshee quite early. We should start seeing, yes, right there, the Spore Crawler's coming down instantly. He knows there is an attack coming and doing a very good job of setting that up. Now, behind this, he is going to be going into a, a Bailing Nest, so going into that Ling Bane style. And we'll see if later on he wants to go into Mutus. Maybe he wants to go into Hydras. We will see. Already quite a bit of Hellions here. 
We do have the armory down as well as Hellbat's going to be morphing in. The Banshee not able to really get anything done. He does go ahead and cloak it up and we'll go into the natural. Going to be able to kill off a couple of queens here. Actually a really good job. A lot of these links starting to go down though. And the Hellions will eventually get cleaned up here. But so far five drones have been killed off. A ton of links and a few queens there. Not bad, not bad. Eight Hellions for uh, 16 Lings, two Queens, and five Drones. Uh, we'll take that any day. Now behind this, there is a third CC on the way. We do have Ebay's coming up, so it's not going to be a, a mech play coming out from beyond. He is going to be going into those, um, those barracks. And behind this, just a little bit of counter pressure coming out from DRG, but with the blockade up, and those depots ready to defend. Uh, not going to be able to get anything done. Uh, very interesting choice though coming out from DRG. Putting those Evo Chambers at the third base. He is pretty heavily saturated here. But he is making Queens, or excuse me, Extractors. And throwing down a fourth behind this. So he will be able to kind of saturate that out. And won't have too many issues. But even noticing like in all of these bases just completely dead. Or completely overkill. Very nice. Beyond going to be going into Widow Mines behind this, and I think it's going to be a perfect play. Does have those two Banshees trying to take out some Creep Tumors as Stim does finish up. And, you know, I like it. He already knows that it is going to be some kind of Ling Bane play, and we'll go ahead and just prepare for it. Instead of getting tanks, instead of trying to, you know, maybe play that out, he is just going to go ahead and have that extra defense. So, very well done. Fourth, excuse me, third base for Beyond. We'll go ahead and land. And I like this. A small force pushing across for Beyond. Looking to clear back the creep. Maybe start pushing in onto this third or fourth base. Um, there are already bailings being made. There's already queens. Bailing speed is on the way. It's about halfway finished up. So it does give a little bit of a chance here for the uh, the Terran to deal some damage. Some good Widow Mine shots will go off. Actually does some damage to the, uh, the Marines. And will eventually get pushed back here. Now, Bailings are out. There's quite a bit of queen count. Look at the queen count. It is at eight. And uh, looking pretty strong already. Reinforcements coming across for Beyond now as he wants to continue to press, uh, to press into this kind of third and fourth base area. He wants to clear the creep, but look at this creep spread coming out from DRG he's already going to take a fifth base behind all of this pressure the link's going to get a good surround trying to focus down on top of the uh, the bailings but not going to get the best of of kills and DRG going to clean it up for the most part is going to force Bian back behind this uh, Banshee's going to try to attack onto the fifth base as he does discover that and he will eventually kind of back up now the overlord will see Beyond, but nothing pushing towards it. Man, this creep spread though from DRG is just immaculate. It's so good. All right. Beyond looking to push now up to the fifth base. A new base is being harvested. But here come the links for a counter pressure. The bailing's going to roll in at the same time. The Marines trying to split around, trying to clear up some of the creep. As more links coming in here, the bailings as well. The links going to be able to clean up that mineral line. Trying to move back is beyond at the same time. Trying to micro at home. Does eventually get forced to pick up a 22 drone. Or excuse me, 22 SCVs do end up falling. And he's going to have to replenish that pretty heavily. Now sitting at 49 workers to the 80 here of the, uh, the Zerg player. And this is where it starts getting very scary for beyond. Um, having to, to deal with this massive army and it's just going to continue to get worse and worse plus one melee and the shields or the armor will be coming up and we do see hive tech being made now this is going to be very good for DRG if he wants to go into that uh, late game tech of either ultras or we could see him go into maybe I, I guess we could see him go into Oh, actually really good right there. Gets cleaned up though pretty easily. Uh, we could see him go into some Broodlords maybe. Uh, it doesn't seem like a lot of players go for him nowadays. 
definitely is on the table. Bailing's gonna get a pretty good hit. Clear up the Widow Mines and will force Bien back once again. Now there's a small force up at the top, but already there's just so many links, so many bailings. And that's really all DRG has made this game. He's only made links, he's only made bailings and queens, and uh, just going up to that late game tech. It's just been so crucial. So there we go. Marines once again gonna come on top of these bailings, trying to get on top of them before they are made. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Trying to split, but oh, the Widow Mines kill off a lot of the Marines. The Bailing's gonna get some connections as well, and Beyond definitely in some trouble here as he's continuing to try to push across the map and uh, clear up creep. But these Ling counts are just getting out of hand. The Mar the Widow Mine hits aren't getting any damage done as well. We'll clear up a good amount of Bailings, but more Bailings are going to follow through and. Unfortunately, right now, Beyond just cannot make a dent in here. And it really feels like DRG has, like, this infinite resource of Lings at the moment. Um, and even with that Overlord speed coming through, will help him out tremendously uh, in scouting and, and really just kind of seeing where everything is at. Beyond is going to start adding on some more barracks with Tech Labs. Wants to get a high number count of the Marauders to kind of soak in some of the shots of these uh of these bailings but as we look already we have a ultralist cavern on the way as well as we do have those vipers coming through so uh already looking to be in a, a phenomenal position what are my shots will go off but with the overseers we'll basically clear those up before they can even uh commence and gonna be forced to pick up that third base once again Another Widow Mine shot does go off. We'll clear off a good chunk of this army from DRG. But will it be enough? 58 workers to 88. I mean, DRG is just on another level right now. He does have a 6th base down. Just now, uh, trying to get it saturated. And even with the Bailings coming in, we'll be able to kill off another 6 SEVs. <clears throat> Plus two is done. Plus three, almost done for Bion and almost done for DRG. So both players will be getting those max upgrades and just literally uh, fighting each other to the death here. But DRG has like half of the map here. He has so much vision against anything that Bion is trying to do. And it's really allowing his links to just flood across the map when needed. Might be able to get on top of this base, which would be really good, but there's already Lings in sight. Has to micro back. Gets picked up, loses a few units, and it will now push down to the bottom. And we just see this big mass kind of like split coming out here. Oh no. A counter attack will be had as Beyond just trying to be all over the map and nothing at home to defend really. Does have a few mines, so maybe that will help, but with the Bailings rolling in, we'll clear out this creep or the uh, the base once again. Finally, the mines will kind of clean that up again. Another attack trying to be pushed out here, but unfortunately, DRG is just all over the place and still the Lings at his third base uh, to get cleaned up. But still, just so much damage being done here, and DRG is just able to remass 28 Lings at a time. He's got Ultras on the way. Vipers don't have that much. Okay, no, they actually do have full energy. Okay. Well, they did. <laughs> uh, but they did end up using that uh, Neuroparasite. Bailing's going to be crashing in. The Link's going to be just eating up anything that remains. Widow Mines are trying to help out here, but unfortunately they just continue to hit their own units. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how much abuse Beyond can take. I mean, he continues to try to fight back, but it feels like he can't even make a dent at this point against DRG. And now that we have those ultralisks out now that we have that chitinous plating upgrade for them will it be enough here can he do something to uh to protect against this i don't think so i don't know he's gonna continue trying he's gonna make some more cc's but uh he has to play so defensive at this moment seventh base on the way for drg i mean he's literally taken the bottom half of this map just insane coming out from the uh, from the Zerg. All right. 
looks like Bion will start pushing into this once again. He does go ahead and throw down a couple of mines. Uh, just going to be shooting some overlords. Gets a decent hit on the bailings. Another good hit on the more bailings. Parasitic bomb, though, going to be going off. And uh, actually, it looks like it misses. Or at least it gets on top of the uh, the widow mines that were burrowed there. So now this gives Bion a chance to start pushing into this. It is going to force DRG to kind of sit back as he builds up some more links. He does have three infestors on the way as well as that neural uh, or pathogen glands upgrade. But I like this. Beyond keeping very uh, spread out. Just trying to clear up the creep where he can. Sees where a base is. Doesn't want to lose too much. Same time we'll be able to clear up a few drones uh, in another base. I'm going to try to take care of some of these more uh, slower units in the Ultras. But he can't really engage this army. There's just so much here for DRG. Widowman shots do okay, but really just hitting the same units. So not utilized all the way. Another scan does come down. This hatchery is very low. Will he be able to get it? I think so. He's not focusing it down, though. Trying to get in a good choke. A beautiful fungal goes down. Going to be able to clear up a bunch of those marauders, but more marauders are coming through. Marines coming through as well, and it looks like he will eventually be able to clear up this base. At the same time, Link's coming through, but another Widowmine hit. Through the minefield they go and will not survive. Finally, Beyond making a little bit of a, a splash. Not the biggest, but he was able to at least kill one of those bases. Planetary Fortress is going to be going up. He does give a scan to see, you know, have these bottom bases been taken? Like, what is the extent of the Zerg at this moment? And sees that this is where the main focus is at, so. Very nice. Able to kill off a couple of queens. Does end up forcing himself back. Widow Mines coming through. Do not make any connections. There we go. And yeah, Bion continuing to try to pressure into this front base. Now it does give Bion an opportunity to kind of, I guess, kill off some of the, the newer mineral lines, but even with Neural Parasite coming through, it's just dealing a lot of damage. The Bailings able to just crumple everything up into pieces. And it's really making it hard with these fungals coming down. Infestors will be able to get on top of it pretty easily. But it looks like Beyond continuing to pressure in, but at the same time, Ultras attacking this planetary fortress down in the third, or excuse me, fourth base. Killing off more SEVs and is literally 92 workers, 238 at this moment. DRG <laughs> has the same amount of workers as he does um, army. This is insane. Viper's going to continue to uh, build themselves up here. Widow Minefield, though, has really been helpful for Beyond, especially against any counterattacks that have been happening. Um, he does have Overseers out, but he's been kind of following them around. Oh my goodness, there's just so many Widow Mines. It's insane. Some decent hits. Clears it up once again, but uh, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, Beyond just cannot push into this. Um, he can kind of do a little bit, but. Um, ooh, another counterattack coming through. There are some Marines and stuff down here at the bottom, but uh, I think he gets kind of easily taken out here. One queen does go down, the second queen, and uh, potentially the third queen. Yeah, not the best connections. Fungals will go down. Decent connection there, though. Yeah, and Fungals, this is going to make it very hard for the, uh, the bio to get away from the Ultras. That's clearing up a good chunk of the queens, and... Uh, you know, DRG is floating pretty heavily in the gas. He's using up a lot of those minerals. So, 
not able to use a lot of ultras. He's really kind of going into that Ling Bane style now. And uh, going to take a base down here at the bottom at the same time. He really needs to keep that uh, that mineral income coming. And unfortunately, trying to get that seventh base just is not helping him out that much. A couple of water mines will go ahead and burrow, clean up the lings, being a little bit of a pest. But here come more lings, more bathings, and the ultras. Everything coming down to this bottom base and beyond. Starting to lose quite a bit here. Even with the neuroparasites, the fungals going down. Trying to split as best as he can. Does he actually have enough here, though? It looks like he might be able to just scrape by. Taking out a bunch of those infestors is actually really good. The queen's coming in here as well. And, uh, yeah. I mean, eventually they're going to get cleaned up here by the bailings. But... And another counterattack. Six more SCVs do go down. He's still at 33 workers. Um, but he is definitely <laughs> scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point. Every unit he loses is so crucial. Is able to pick off the bottom base, so not bad there. But is still taking friendly fire from those Widow Mines. Link's going to be coming up here to this top base. Now it is blocked by a Planetary Fortress. SCVs are trying to heal up with this. The Bailing's going to roll in. You're going to get on top of a lot of these SCVs. Ends up getting the Planetary and 12 more SCVs. As they do end up backing up that Ultra very, very low right now. But Beyond very much in trouble. It's going to continue to push into this. Fungals do go off. The splits are all right. And it looks like DRG will go ahead and back off. For the time being, but losing uh, that base was just not good for him. Fungal's going to help keep everything in place. GG and beyond. He will eventually take the win. It's getting very scary there for beyond. Um, you know, just looking at everything, he was really kind of just <laughs> using up everything he had, uh, which was just insane. Um, I felt like maybe DRG could have pushed a little bit more. But we'll see here in game number two uh, if he can tie things up or if Beyond will take it. Alrighty. In top left hand corner of the map, playing as the red Zerg pieces. Give it up. It is DRG. And in the bottom right, in the blue, it's the Terran player known as Beyond. <clears throat> Alrighty. It's game number two on Death Orb. Should be pretty good. We'll see kind of what DRG wants to go for here in game number two. He is going to be throwing down the hatchery first. At 15. And we'll go around. Just kind of scout. Make sure again. Is there any kind of proxies. Uh, but beyond not cheesing any. He's just going to go ahead and sit at home. Making that barracks. And all of that. So there we go. Now, Bion had some really good plays. At first, his Little Mine shots were not doing that well. But I think DRG started to get a little bit sloppy trying to, you know, hit at multiple spots and really just do a lot. Now, it is kind of hard, especially how many Widow Mines Bion had, to split that well. So he did the best he could, but fortunately, he just took too much damage from those and started kind of. I wouldn't say necessarily falling behind, but it was making it very tough for him to actually get anything done with that, so. <clears throat> there we go. Right behind this is going to be Queens and Lynx coming out from DRG. And uh, no Hellions as of yet. It's actually going to be a double barracks opening. Now, does he go into... 
into Reapers from here, or is it going to be more Marine heavy? It's going to be a 2-1-1, maybe? Yeah, there goes the factory. There we go. So yeah, going to be Marines. We do have that tech lab finally down. And we will continue to see him producing from all of these. And it's going to be a 16 Marine drop looking to kind of capitalize on DRG, right? We see last game DRG goes very, very heavy into drones. And it wasn't until after he hit like a high like 50, 60 mark that we actually saw him start making things other than that. And, and it wasn't until the late game, until he got into, up to that hive tech, we saw anything other than just Lean Bane. So maybe Pyong wants to try to counteract that and says, okay, maybe if I can attack you early enough before we get to that point, it'll be a little bit better. So. <clears throat> All right, third base is going to be finishing up here now for, uh, for DRG. Pyong, on the other hand, is still going to be going into this uh, starport. So it has the reactor down on the factory, and we'll be available uh, to actually switch that around. And the question then becomes, do we see him go into the main base? Maybe for a drop, or just continue to push into the four? We'll see. Uh, Spore Crawler does go down. Just being a little extra protective here. Uh, considering last game we did see a lot of those Banshees coming through. This time it's just going to be the Marines. And actually DRG will see this. Now, instantly we see 16 links being made. Bailing Nest is on the way. So there is a little bit of a window here for Beyond to actually attack into this. Before he has to deal with Bailings, 24 Lings are on the way. Still might not be enough here for the many Lings, or excuse me, the many Marines that the Terran does have. We'll actually supply block him as well. DRG going into a lair to get Bailing speed, and Bailing Nest is still not done. Hellions coming out as well. Will help out a little bit. Clearing up a lot of the creep, and here we go. Stim is done as well. Going to be getting on top of this as much as possible. Will end up being forced back. And now with the bailing nest being done, we should be able to start seeing some bailings being made. Very good job here from Beyond. Not allowing that creep to spread too much. And it will eventually be pushed back. Now, he's got to be careful that he doesn't lose a whole lot to this attack. But with Widowmines out now, it does give him a little bit better of a chance. Eight bailings on the way. Bailing speed being made as well. And this is actually a really good play. Trying to get on top of the Overlords. Shut down any additional income. And here we go. Actually going to get into a corner. Widowmine not going to go off. But he needs to be careful that... Couple of good connections do go off on the uh, the Marines here. Will eventually get pushed back. Needs to heal up and take care of these Queens before they can shoot down the Medivacs, which he is able to. Plus one on the way for the Terran, as we do see plus one finally being on the way for DRG. He does have both Evo, so he could go for the armor as well. But the uh, the cancel on the fourth base gonna be going down. So this time Beyond playing definitely very defensive or not defensive but uh, very aggressive gets more queens fourth base will be taken down here in the left side and there we go you going to take a macro hatch very interesting now the medevacs are out of energy, so they won't be able to heal up as much. So each stem will actually worsen uh, these attacks. Now, Beyond wants to go for another attack down at the bottom. Going to force a split from DRG. And we'll see, can he keep that up? Bailings are pretty heavy up in the front. Beautiful uh, 
focus fire onto those. And we will see him continue to push into this. Now Bian going to stem forward. We'll be able to get onto the creep. Wouldn't mind shots. We'll be going off here. Gets one of the queens. Oh, beautiful play there. But now Bian going to go into the main. Oh, no, he doesn't. Uh, gets completely cleared up here down at the bottom. A big mistake from Bian. And it looks like Bian will go ahead and return back home. Doesn't want to overextend, even though I feel like he kind of did with losing all of that. <clears throat> all right. Behind this, we do have plus two on the way for the Terran. Plus two is being started for the Zerg as well, and making 14 bailings at a time, even adding on another base. There we go. Looking to get the cancel. Will not be able to, as there are still too many Lings and Banes. More bailings going to be coming in for the Zerg as well, down here at this bottom fourth base. And yeah, I mean, beyond just trying to find some good damage somewhere. Well, he does take his own bases at home. We'll throw down another factory. And it's going into Liberators, so. <clears throat> I like it. Alright, another macro hatch coming down for the Zerg. Just going to be able to have so much stuff here. Uh, will be very insane. Uh, Beyond does actually start picking up and moving some more units over to the top. And once again, just kind of keep the Zerg in this awkward position as long as possible. Ooh, gets a decent hit. Still, there's quite a bit of bailings left. We'll be forced back once again. Combat shield's done, but we'll force the pickup. And, yeah, I mean, really good job here. Overseer will be able to see at least a few of the the Widow Mines, but not able to get them in time. And again, we see this heavy Ling, uh, Ling Bane being utilized, just red everywhere. Pick off there for DRG. Beyond gonna continue to push in to the bottom of this area, but Liberty is gonna get some kills as well. But now we see DRG with a counter attack. He is actually almost uh, maxed out at this point. Plus two armor is about to finish up, and it is mainly just Marines and uh, Boido mines for the Terran. The Lings, though, want a big counterattack. There is a big, heavy Widowmine uh, graveyard here. But now the Overseer is dead. Trying to get a wraparound onto this army. Another Widowmine will actually be forced out. Killing off a lot of the Marines as well. Same time, a big attack coming down here at the bottom. And uh, the... Uh, Bailings rolling in, clearing off a lot of the supply depot. It's going to be going into the third base and trying to clear that up. At the same time, this is going to be pushed back. But 33 SEVs have fallen. A huge crash into that third base. And now we see Bion trying to push back across the map. He wants to deal some damage. He wants to end this. He has to. Or we will find him in another awkward situation. We do have the uh, Widow Mine upgrade almost done. It's about halfway there. And there we go. Going to be forced and picked up once again, but... Yeah. Beyond going to be forced back. Finally, everything in the third base will get cleared up as he is uh, eventually going to get kind of resettled here. 48 workers to 87. Definitely not a small task. And Beyond, once again, just utilizing every mineral that he has to continue himself in this. Widow Mines getting low on energy. And plus three is almost done. 
Now when he gets plus three done, this does give him a big window to continue to, to push in this, right? Because DRG has not started his his plus three yet. He, he, he can't. He doesn't have a hive. He just now finished the infestation pit, so we should see hive tech on the way. And a hydralisk din is on the way as well, so we could potentially see some lurkers if it gets to that point. Now here comes some more links into the third base. Marine's going to try to help out with this. A couple of Widowmine shots will actually just completely eliminate the links here. The Marines going to be eight up. Battles happening all over the place, and we do see eventually going to have to pick up once again. But somehow, Beyond continues to press forward with this army. He is at 81 supply to the 76 of DRG. Somehow, still trying to make it work, but he does have a lot of supply into the uh, the medevacs here. What are my shots going off? And we do see the links once again trying to come in and deal some damage, but eventually we'll get pushed back here. DRG still looking pretty good, taking a base behind all of this aggression and still continuing to push forward on to the map. Now there is a Widowmine shot. And, oh no, okay. Able to split off just in time. Link's gonna get us around on some full, uh, full mules. Oh, huge hit though. These Widowmine shots really are the death of DRG. There's so many Widowmines. <laughs> there is 15 Widowmines, that is insane. And it does end up getting cleaned up. Now the orbital will still survive. And we will start seeing Beyond push across once again. Just not giving DRG the opportunity to breathe. Um, he is going to split up his units once again and did this for a good reason. Especially seeing Beyond go across the map and uh, you know, split up his army. Ooh, a big hit though. Taking out a lot of Beyond's army, and this has kind of been the bane for Beyond, is just how much damage he has been taking to his own units. There we go. Trying to get him lured into the Widowmine field, but not able to, and this a huge mass of his links going across to help defend against us, but will it be enough? Beyond is almost maxed out now. He is at 132 supply in army versus the 108 here of, B of DRG. Gets the cancel and we'll start pushing onto the creep. Gonna try to clear up as much creep as possible, pushing forward with the Marauders, with the Marines. And uh, yeah, unfortunately DRG just can't fight into this too well. Would have mind shots. Gonna get some okay connections. Not the best, but actually damages a lot of Beyond's army very heavily. DRG pushing this back once again. And that really has been the story so far this game is just DRG constantly having to push back. Constantly having to defend against these attacks. And Beyond just not letting go, just continuing the pressure. same time there is another attack oh no it's not attack those are just I got faked out there is some units moving down to the bottom for an attack though <clears throat> does get the cancel once again not worried about the uh, the imposters and yeah I mean really DRG has to have his full force here and just continues to lose more and more he is Finally trying to get that plus three going. 32 links on the way. Four more Hydras coming through. Not able to get the fourth base up, or the fifth base up. But it does look like he will be able to kind of finally push this back once again. <clears throat> and there we go. Bailings on the way. <sighs> mm. 
There we go. Another attack coming down at the bottom and beyond. Starting to... Uh, oh, wow. Oh! 16 kills there. Uh, I don't know what happened there with DRG. He just kind of stopped attacking and then tried to move down, but ended up losing all of those links to a single widow mine. Definitely not the best connections. And even though TRG is now maxed out, his worker count is higher, which is good because he will be able to get more minerals. So there we go. Marine's going to continue to push forward here. Both players are maxed out, but again, DRG, uh, because he has more workers coming through, not going to have as much units and huge widow mine shots, eliminating a lot of those bailings, going to allow Bjorn to strike here on this bottom base. And this is a very crucial base right now. If he is able to take this and just eliminate what DRG has, this could be his victory. He has to be careful. More bailings starting to roll in. The Oh, and the necrotic plague that is the viper starting to strike now onto this army another attack trying to come down here or up at the top additional cc's coming over for beyond <clears throat> and there we go Another base looking to be taken. Does end up getting another good amount of kills. And we'll start attacking up here at the front at the same time. Down here at the bottom. Another good couple of Widow Mine shots will go off. But I don't think it's going to be enough. But Beyond is everywhere. Beyond able to get the base. DRG still trying to hold this off as best as he can. Beautiful splits coming out from Beyond. And now we see the Hydras of DRG gonna start taking out some of the cc's start trying to push into this but beyond pushing onto the creep trying to go up to this top base and we have ourselves a little bit of a kind of a base race <laughs> a lot of the widow mines will finally burrow not getting paid attention by the hydras we'll clean that up at the same time does get this top base 26 scvs 28 and more will eventually get cleaned off down here at the bottom and the Marines will eventually get pushed back or at least kind of reset themselves in the back. And uh, beautiful play, though. But Beyond still at 133 uh, supply and counting for his army. After losing all of that, he is on the scraps once again. This time a little bit better. He's going to go ahead and stem forward once again onto this top base. Everything has not been able to be retaken. And unfortunately, DRG cannot max out. He cannot really make anything else at the moment. Just links for the most part. As Beyond is able to continue to push in, continue to deal damage. We'll start getting on top of the drones. This fourth base goes down. And unfortunately, DRG just scattered across the map. Not even in the area where the Terran is at. It looks like Beyond will start pushing his way towards a victory. Unless DRG can somehow find an answer to this. Let's get a couple of good Widowmind hits. And it looks like GG as Beyond takes the series.